day in Dixie come around each year when colored people congregate from far and near to gather on that levee where the flatboats lay, a splashing in the water, washing things away, a jumble and a shouting in a mournful wail. The deacon am a speaking on a cotton veil. The tambles and the banjos soon begin to ring. We're glad to get to heaven, everybody sings. You can hear them moan, you can hear them groan, you can hear them dance, you can hear them dance, you can hear them praying with their bodies swaying, you can hear them screeching while the preachers preaching in their wild elation, yelling for salvation when the organ starts to play. Glory, glory, hallelujah, flash all the board goes in the gillia. Folks will be capsizing, folks will be baptizing at the levy on revival day. You'll see the picking in his there with old Aunt Polo, old Uncle Tom and Topsy, even old Black Joe. There's Abraham a playing on that old violin, and everybody's singing, let the sun shine in. There's Deacon Andy Jackson with his purple socks, a busy passing round the contribution box. He caught the Susie Jackson in the very act, a putting in a button and a coffee pack. You can hear them moaning, you can hear them groaning, you can hear them chanting, you can hear them chanting. See their bodies swinging, ain't that mournful singing? Does you hear that screeching? That's the preacher preaching. Hear their wild elation? Must be for salvation. Can't you hear that uh, organ play? Hmm? Glory, glory, hallelujah! Flex. Who uh, pushed over Sister Julia? Huh? <coughs> uh, now, uh, who done pushed Sister Julia overboard? Hmm? Uh, nobody, Parson. I just naturally got hysterical and fainted. Oh, you did, eh? Well, I just naturally revived you. I was going to baptize you, sister. Here you go. <coughs> now, does you believe, Julia? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, I believe, Parson. I, I don't believe you're trying to drown me. That's what I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Folks will be capsizing, folks will be baptizing at the levy on Revival Day. How do, Mr. Sanderson? It's me that you in the newspaper business. Yes, indeed I am. I'm on the most prominent paper in this young neighborhood. What's the name of your paper? The Dark Town Buzzard. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny I'm the newspaper business myself. What am the name of your paper? Mine's the Dark Town Gazoo. Gazoo, well, it's the Dark Town Oh, we have a good paper. Mm -hmm. You see, we receive all our news from the Associated Press. Uh, we receive it before it goes yeah, Mr. Press. <laughs> <laughs> Why, this morning I received Several very funny correspondents. <laughs> That's nothing. I received several hundred and several correspondents. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is your latest? Oh, here's one. A young lady writes me saying, Dear editor, I have been troubled with freckles on my face for ten years. What will cure them? Answer. Why, tell her to use dynamite and blow them off. <laughs> that is a common way to blow yourself. <laughs> Here's one from a young lady. What is it? She says, dear editor, the last four months I've been out of employment and I cannot find any work. And my landlord threatens to put me out of the house. Now what will I do? Answer. <laughs> Tell her to do the landlord. What? <laughs> 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 You'll be hung next Friday. Who? A pair of blinds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's someone tickling you to death. What is it? <laughs> a feather. <laughs> <laughs> Both ladies cut off above the knee. Who? A pair of pants. Why the good face? Married. Who? A man and a woman. Divorce. Who? Same couple. <laughs> <laughs> The young man that was run over last night by the Empire Express, he's now out of danger. How is he? He died this morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a young man jumped into the river and committed suicide. Uh, there was a woman in the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> you in the good paper, all right. Yes, I must now bid you good day as I must get down to the lodge, uh -huh. as we have a rehearsal day for our benefit tonight. What's the name of your lodge? Why, the Hygo Muckamarine. Oh, that's the name of <laughs> 
Why it costs you ten dollars a giant? And how much am to do? One dollar a week as long as you live, and when you die, you go to heaven. Oh, what if you don't go to heaven? Oh, then you get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll take you down on one condition. What's that? That you sing a song that I've been up tonight. All right, what I sing to Bella Memphis? Well, no, I don't think I ever heard that. Turkey in the Storm? Well, I don't think I ever heard that either. <laughs> These bones shall rise again? Well, I never heard that, but sing it anyhow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me the hook and give me the line. These bones shall rise again. All them fish I catch them mine. These bones shall rise again. Way down yonder in the Yankee County town. These bones shall rise again. A bullfrog jumping from a bank to bank. These bones shall rise again. I know. But she died. I do no children. I know. But these bones shall rise again. I know. She died. I do no children. I know. But these bones shall rise again. <laughs> 